All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, functional programming, use higher order functions, map, filter, or reduce to solve a complex problem. All right. So now that we've worked through a few challenges using higher order functions like map, filter, and reduce, we now get to apply them to solve a more complex challenge. All right. Uh, so we're going to complete the code for the square list function using any combination of map, filter, and the reduce methods. Uh, the function should return a new array containing the squares of only the positive integers. Decimal numbers are not integers. Uh, when an array of real numbers is passed to it. So an example of an array of real numbers is going to be this right here. where We've got negatives, we've got uh, decimals, and we've got regular positive integers, all right? So note the function should not use any kind of for or while loops or the for each function. You got it. So this one's much easier than the uh, film one, the film uh, reduced one. Trust me on this one. I mean, this one's way <laughs> easier, honestly. Uh, so let's get to it. So like on the last one, we're going to work outside of the thing first so we can check it before we uh, put it in here. So let's uh, comment out this console.log right here because we don't need it right now. And uh, we'll take the comments out of that later. So first things first, we're going to look at this thing. All right. So let's make let's make a list of that. So let's say let array equal. And we'll just use this list right here might as well. So we'll copy that, drop it like that. All right. So now that we've got that, uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to filter out the negatives and the uh, decimals and only leave the uh, integer, the positive integers, right? The five and the three right there. So what we're going to do here is uh, use the filter method. So let's say let uh, filtered equal and we'll say um, array dot filter. And then we will say something like this. Let's say number because they're all numbers in there. And then we'll go and say uh, if it is greater than zero first. So number needs to be greater than or equal to zero to start off with so, it's, so that it's positive. Uh, and we'll do the and, double and sign and number remainder operator one needs to equal zero. So what's that mean, right? If you forgot. So if num if the number divided by one has a remainder like this one will have and this one will have, then we're not going to let it in there. It has to be like five divided by one is is has no remainder. Three di divided by one has no remainder. So that means that they are integers, right? So let's come down here and say console dot log filtered to prove it. And we've got five and three. So that's what we got. That's the uh, first step of this thing. So now what we want to do is just square them. So we're not even going to we're not even going to use the reduce method. I'm sure there's a way to use the reduce method and not even have to do either of these. But I don't know it. Uh, so we'll say something like this. We'll say let uh, squared equal filtered. All right. So we're using this array dot map. All right. And so we're doing the map style for loop over it. And we're set. We'll say number. All right. And we'll say number like this. Uh, and then on each one of them, we'll just say number times times. Where's times 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 two. And that's just going to square whatever's in there. And if we say squared. Let's square like this. Boink like that. We'll see 25 and nine. It looks like we are good, honestly. Uh, so let's uh, grab it from 15 up to 11. So we've got all the space we need. Let's highlight this three right here. Drop it off like that. Now we've got nice space going in there. Uh, what did we want to return to up? Let's yeah, let's drop it off like this. Let's do it again. Drop it off. Say return squared return squared like that. And now let's get rid of this junk. All right. What? Boom. And array not defined array, 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 array. What are you talking about? Oh, let's change array to R. Let's change that to R. 
There we go. And now let's take the console. Uh, let's take the, what is it, the comments off of this console like that. And we see with the 25 and nine, just like we got earlier, let's run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to sort an array alphabetically using the sort method. And we'll see you next time.